Hey guys, so today I have a haul for you. Um, I figured before I put everything away, I might as well go ahead and show y'all what I got. Um, this has probably been, um, well, the majority of it was purchased yesterday, but it was um, a collective haul. Anyway, a lot of it was on clearance also from Sally's. So I already have these swatched, so I'm just going to show you my swatches and the brush jar. First one up is something that Claire Gray made me buy. Again, I had a mini, and the brush was a little wonky. Um, this is Frostbite. And she was like, oh, how can you not have that? Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> so I went out and I repurchased the full size. Um, I'm still just kind of like, eh, on it, you know? I mean, it's pretty. But, you know, I just, I don't know. And I'm sure if I find others in my collection, I'm going to compare it. And this may end up getting de-stashed again. Now, I have two separate swatches. I'll show you the swatch on its own, which is right here. It's also what I'm wearing on my nails, along with ILMP's Easy Street. All my swatches here are top-coated. Um, it is very pretty. I'm not denying that it's not pretty. It's got a very pretty shimmer in there. Um, I just think... I have others in my collection that are very similar um, and possibly better. This is like three to four coats on this swatch stick because it was a clear swatch stick. Um, it's only two coats on my nails. But everybody's bitching about the new version of Sally Hansen's Pacific Blue. Let me show you something. This one right here is Sally Hansen's new version of Pacific Blue. And right here is Frostbite. So Sally Hansen is a bit darker um, and the shimmer is less apparent, but I, I don't know. I just, they're very similar. So those of you who cannot find Frostbite, pick up the new version of Sally Hansen Pacific Blue. It's very close. Um, that took four coats, though, because it is a very sheer polish, unfortunately. Next one up is another China Glaze, and I got this on clearance. I believe this was from the Summer Collection, and this is Crushing on Blue. It's a very pretty. It's almost similar to Frostbite, um, except it's a little bit lighter. It's very pretty. Um, this one might end up getting de-stashed, too. Here's the two of them next to each other. So you can see they're very similar, but um, Crushing on Blue is a little lighter. Here's Crushing on Blue's swatch. Again, very pretty, but yeah, I may have others in the collection that, um, I don't know, I like better. Here's the two of them side by side. This is Frostbite and this is Crushing on Blue. So very, very similar. Just um, crushing on blue looks a little um, dustier. So that is those two. Okay, so now I will go into um, the Orleys. I got three Orly from the Epics line. Um, they were a dollar ninety nine. They were clearance down to a dollar ninety nine. Now these have the the wrap on them. This one here is called Outtake. It's a very beautiful bright pink. Two coats. And it's got that nice wide brush. I don't really think Juanita from Bonita Juanita watches my channel. Um, but if she does, she should run out to her Sally's. Because uh, I know she loves a good pink. I did think this was good. Here it is on the swatch. That's from me. That's not any part of the polish. I put them all together before they were too, before they were dry. And these actually dried fairly glossy. They didn't have that satin matte finish that most neons would have, or brights anyway. But here is outtake from Orly Epics. 
Okay. Let me put them in my bin so I know I gotta add them in. Let's go ahead with the other bright color in the collection. And this sticker on the outside it does not. No, not even close. This one is called Call My Agent. I have a sticker on the side and on the back. And this is that beautiful corally orange. You can hear baby in the background. This is coming up a lot brighter on camera. Um, yeah, it's just one of those things that are going to make the camera go nuts. Here is the swatch of Call My Agent. Yeah, it's coming up lighter. It actually has a little bit more pink to it. Um, think... I've never seen OG Flip Flop Fantasy, but I'm thinking, think OG Flip Flop Fantasy. Because it's got that pinkish color to it. Very pretty. Okay, so that was Call My Agent. She's up on the bed and she is just talking to herself, having a good old time. Next one, I wasn't going to get after I swatched. I'm kind of glad I did. This one here is called Melodrama. And as you can see from the, it's going to have a shimmer. And it does. It has a beautiful purpley shimmer. In there. It actually really doesn't translate all that much to the nail. But it, it gives the color just something so here is mellow drama you could see it is shimmery and I touched it against one of the finger paints that are coming up and you could see just from the underside here where it's a little smoother it is shimmery so that is Orly's epic mellow drama okay next we're gonna do the finger paints I got three finger paints. They were buy two, get one free. So it was the China Glaze, but I really didn't find any other China Glazes I wanted. So this first one up is Magic Paintbrush. And it's a really pretty purple with a beautiful silver-like shimmer. God bless, baby. And it's kind of like a purpley to like a bluish shimmer in there. It's got a nice formula. I really, Finger Paints is a brand that you have to pick up and look at. Because they have these shimmers in them where if you're just looking at them normally on the shelf, you're not going to notice those. And they are so worth it. That's like, this is like the fifth one I found that has that type of shimmer in it. And I love them because they look so good matte also. So here is Magic Paintbrush. You can see it's got a very nice shimmer. And now imagine that matte. It does dry matte to begin with. But oh, it's just gorgeous. So that was Magic Paintbrush from Finger Paints. Next up is the one that has Melodrama all over it. And this one is called Roll of the Die. And this is a pretty taupey color with a pink to purple shimmer in there. And these have started to get the wide brushes. That first one did not have it, but the next two do. So there it is on the brush. Very pretty. Like I never would have picked a color like this up um, until I saw that shimmer in there and it like I am a sucker for shimmer okay so here it is on the nail and it is noticeable it's not all that noticeable but it, it's there you know it's there hmm. so there is finger paints roll of the die next one up is I'm gonna call this a watermelon pink because I don't really know the color it's called it's all an illusionism and again I'm calling it a watermelon pink but it has a ton of that gold 
fleck shimmer in there. It's just gorgeous. There it is on the brush. <coughs> Excuse me. That was the brush. And here's the swatch. Just beautiful. It's all an illusionism from finger paints. It's just stunning. Friggin' stunning. I love them. Next up are my two Enchanted Monthlies. This first one is August 2017. And I believe since this is the year of inspiration. Oh, what did she call this one? This is something um, inspired by something with moth in it. I don't remember the name. Uh, sorry, guys. It's... It's something with moth in it. But as usual, it has a very impeccable formula. It's a beautiful, like, gray holographic that has some gold shimmer in there. And here it is on the swatch. I meant to look at the name, the inspiration name, before I filmed, and then I forgot. If I remember, I'll insert it somewhere around here if I don't um well <laughs> that's my brain for you but there it is on the swatch that's two coats very beautiful and that was August 2017 and here is July 2017 and this one was inspired by Disco Barbie. That I knew, and I actually guessed it. So, and it's kind of got like a purple shimmer to it. This is beautiful. And again, it has her impeccable formula. My two monthlies, these two monthlies shipped really quick. Like, I was surprised. Usually, it's a month before she ships. Um, these shipped within weeks. Or within a couple of weeks, I want to say. Um, two weeks, actually, because I paid after delivery and the payment is just processing to my bank and they give you 14 days. So, two weeks it took for these to come this time. Not bad. But that was July. And here it is on the swatch. Beautiful. Everyone's kind of disappointed because she's been doing, like, blah colors. You know, there's so many bright, vibrant colors that she did back in 2013, 14, 15, etc. Like this one. And she's kind of been doing subdued colors. So there is July 2017. Okay, three more. Next two are from Graceful Polish. And I was prompted to buy these after I wore Pony Whispers, which my beautiful friend Claire gifted me. This first one is Hotsy Totsy. And again, it's from Graceful. And this is a beautiful blue jelly with blue glitter and those multi-chrome flakies. This does take a couple of coats, but it is beautiful. It dries fairly smooth. I did top coat, of course. Um, you could wear this over a base, um, a, a similar blue base. But there it is on the swatch. And it is just beautiful. It has some scattered hollow and those flakies. Okay, next one is a very similar concept. This one is called Lazy Afternoon. And of course, this is a green one. Claire has me in green for some reason lately. And it's got some green multi-chrome flakies in there again with the scattered hollow. And again, it is in a jelly base. So there it is on the brush. 
Okay, and here it is on the swatch. Very pretty. It's a very... Uh, it's a very bright, but almost like swampy green. But very bright. Okay, so there is Graceful Polish, Lazy Afternoon, and then the last one, I've been wanting this since it came out, and I was never able to find the stupid thing, typical, typical sinful colors. So right here is Retro Rosie, and it is this beautiful pink with these pink and silver shimmers in there. Good formula. Um, I don't remember. I want to say that it dries a satiny finish, but there it is on the nail. It's just beautiful. I love it. Okay, so that was my haul, guys. What did you think? Let me know down in the comments which one of these was your favorite. Um... I have a couple collabs coming up for the end of summer. Claire and I are doing a birthday collab. We're going to be doing a Halloween collab. And um, there's another collab out there. And I don't remember what exactly it is. So stay tuned for those. I'm going to go because Baby Pony needs me now. Um, I also wanted to show you the Essie. Dressed to the 90s. Let me show you that quick. Because I am not impressed with this polish. This is in the new fall collection. I'm not impressed. Although it looks very pretty in the bottle. I'm not impressed. It has an okay formula for Essie. But I don't know. I'll probably wear it once. It turns out to be like an eggplant purple. Let me pause, check on her. I'll come back with the second coat. Okay, so here is two coats of Dress to the 90s. And I am just not loving it. I don't know. I mean, it does dry shiny, and it levels out really nice. But I don't know. I'm just... It looks so much better in the bottle. And I can't stand this, really. When polishes do this, they look better in the bottle than they do on the nail. But I'll wear it. I'll give it a shot. I just wanted to let you know my thoughts of it because it is fairly new to me. Um, this isn't all the polish that I've purchased. I have a lot that I've purchased and I've put away already. Um, I have more coming. I have, um, I have one coming from Hot Topic. I have three six i believe coming from blue eye girl lacquer i have oh i have the six um oh i don't know what they're called nudes from native war paints the ones with the great shimmer um i don't know what else i have coming um but i've just been going on a crazy crazy polish buying kick because I just feel like it. Um, so, yeah, that is it. Um, I'll probably do some frostbite comparisons since I have it now. Again, I don't like it. Um, not that there's anything wrong with it. It's just not my... Jeez, I don't know. I just... I can't get with it, is all I can say. And I'm sure I have a couple that are very close, just like um, Sally Hansen here. So I will do that comparison one of these days. Um, that's it, guys. So, yeah, thank you for watching. I hope you all have a great day. Let me know your comments down below. Um, I love to talk with you guys. I know I'm a little behind. But, yeah, get, um, get in touch with me and we'll have a little conversation about some nail polish. Don't forget to follow me on all of my social media, which is always listed down below. And, yeah. All right, I will see you guys later. Bye.